Good evening everyone, I'm Nathan, here with my wonderful wife Laura. Hello. And we're here to do a quick review of the Snakes and Ladders game by Gold Toys. Yes, uh, so, um, I mean, and this is just Snakes and Ladders, there's nothing too crazy about it, but we thought this particular edition was kind of unusual. So we'll get to why it's a bit unusual in a moment. First of all, obviously the box art is not the usual fare when it comes to Snakes and Ladders. For instance, no. I don't see any snakes. Or ladders. No. on the front of the box, which you would think would be the main thing you would see on a Snakes and Ladders game. Nothing on the back. There's a couple of bits of interesting text. Oh, sorry, I was just going to say on the front as well, um, we do have obviously like a sweet little garden kind of image with these people, with flowers, there's bees, there's like there's a lot of detail that's been put into this image. But no snakes, nor ladders. No. <laughs> So inside the actual board here is, it's like the, instru the, box. <laughs> the instructions have been sort of pasted or stuck on the inner sort of yeah. cardboard insert. Yeah, so th this is just a, a cardboard insert. Um, it's all seen better days. There's some quality um, issues now. Um, but yeah, you can see maybe the edge of like where this piece of paper is. So, you know, normally if the instructions are on the insert, they've been like printed, printed. on. Yeah. Now I'm just going to sort of zoom in right here. It says, by appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Manufacturers and Supplies of Educational Age, James Galt and Company Limited, made in England. Yeah, um, you can also see we have four different languages for the instructions there as well. So presumably this was released in multiple places. Well, I mean, here we are in Australia for a UK release game. So at least we're one country <laughs> where... Yes, it came out here or someone brought one here. So let's get this open. It smells like well, an old thrift slash op shop. <laughs> yes. So we do have six playing pieces. These are wood, not plastic. Which is a nice touch and they're molded too. Yeah, they're actually quite nice. Um, I mean, they're just standard shape, but they're kind of glossy sort of painted wood. So, yeah. It's also missing one die. It's a standard die. Yes. I mean. So you could just use any... All right, now the board itself. Now we have snakes and ladders. We do indeed have a snake and a ladder <laughs> of multiple varieties. Yes, um, it also continues this kind of art style that's on the front of the box as well. So we get more of those garden scenes and we'll show you the, the top in a minute. Like they've even gone as far as to put like blackberries on the vine here. And you know, I don't know whether you can see, but the ground um, behind them, so it's kind of little circles to give texture to so it. It's actually so. a really nice design board. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Um, otherwise, it just is snakes and ladders. So if you land at the bottom of a ladder, you go up the ladder to the top. You do get another turn though. Yes, yeah, so there's a couple release. of very small differences between this and what you'd expect a standard snakes and ladders. And obviously, if you land a snake's head, you slide down Follow to the, the tail. Down, yeah. Uh, you can't land on somebody else. I'm not sure if that's standard across all snakes and ladders or not. Um, I've so, never played it that yeah, way. Yeah, so if you're there and I'm, say, here and I roll a two and I go one, two, uh-oh, can't land on you. So then I go back to my original starting space and my turn's over. Yeah, effectively you just lose a turn, um, which, I mean, depends on how many people are playing how much that affects you, I suppose. If there's only two, the chances you're going to land each other on a yeah. hundred space board are probably fairly slim. As Laura said, if you manage to get a ladder, you go up the ladder and you immediately take an extra turn. Yeah. Um, now, the idea, just in case you don't know, is to start at number one. You roll, mm. you move all the way up, um, you sort of zigzag backwards and forth along the lines, all the way up to space 100, which we have marked with a pink flower at the top there. So about space 100, uh, you have to roll an exact count to get there. If I'm say at 98 and I roll a four, instead of going, uh oh, I can't get there, I have to move back four, whatever it may be. And then try and get there again. Um, so yeah, you, you can't, you have to be there by exact count, but sometimes I think, to get there by exact count, you just wait there. Oh, I didn't get the number I need, I'll roll again. But in yeah. this case, you have to keep moving. And so. it's, it's a real, real awesome that they put a really big <laughs> snake right up here on Space 97 that takes you down to 67. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, could be a little bit tricky there if you do take a while to get the number you need. But do you notice anything about the design of the spaces? Is it a nice square, just sort of... Or is it this no. weird, like, split... Um, 
It's not even really short shape. It would be like a, it's almost like a diamond. Yeah, they, they've kind of done it a bit differently. Normally you would just have like a rectangle board and there would be the same amount of spaces like across in every row. But we start with like down the bottom here, three, and then it kind of gets wider, but then it comes back in a little, then out a little. And then in the middle of the board, there's like a gap. Which essentially. And then you go 51, then you just jump over to 52. So ladybirds to guide you. you see. Yeah, you follow the ladybirds. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a really unique appearance. I mean, that's the main reason we thought we might review it because how often do you see a snakes and ladders that looks like this? I think, the, I mean, it's very interesting, the thing itself, but just the fact that it was uh, touted as an educational aid makes me think this may have been in some school somewhere back in whenever it was produced. Yeah, I mean, I could see this being like a school thing, you know, young kids learning counting and those sort of things. I want to hear from anyone that has played this game or another uh, Galt Toys board game because they must have made more. Presumably, and I wonder if this art style is something unique to them. Definitely let us know if you have any more info about that. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Um, obviously, let us know any information about Galt Toys or, you know, other games they may have made down below. Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every single Tuesday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.